Back with game 2 between Kid of Death and Cory for ulti playoffs. Cory up 1-0 at the moment, Kid brings the same team he brought game 1, this time with Mega Medichem over Zam. I actually used this team in a shot on life, so I know all the sets, assuming he didn't change them. It's uh, Rocks, Magma, Storm, Z, Fire, Trance, but Death, Tech, Bulu with SD, Horn, Leech, Superpower. Helmet, Tornadoes, Standard, Mega Medichem, Banta, I think with Fire Punch and Scarf, Landris. Cory leads off with the Torn and Cory can just click U-Turn here. Um, Kit is most likely going to switch out into either his own Torn or his Heatran. I'm thinking it's a Mega Lari on Cory's side, probably um, a Rocks, Earthquake, U-Turn, Roost, Gliscor because he doesn't have another Stealth Rock user. Um, the Lele could be Z-Move, Specs or Scarf, I'm not sure. Like he doesn't really have another Scarfer. Goes hard, Gliscor to activate the Toxic Orb and now he can um, just get the Rocks up here. Uh, Kid goes hard into Medicham, knowing that he's not gonna Earthquake there. Now, um, if Cory is Payapa Berry Pexy, he can go into Pex on an Ice Punch and then live as an Headbutt the next turn. Other than that, he doesn't really have great counterplay for the Medicham. So now we're gonna see if he's um, Payapa or Black Sludge. So he does just go for Ice Punch. And we do see it's Black Sludge. So it's really obvious that he's not gonna stay and he goes into Celeste. That does. Kid predict that he does not predict that. I feel like he could have high jump kicked there, um, knowing that Cory is not gonna sack it. But um, it was also a fine play. I assume we're gonna see a leash sheet here from Cory because he's never gonna high jump kick there. High jump kick the 71.7 to 84.6 to mixed defensive Celesteela, and you also risk high jump kicking into a protect. Uh, pivoting into Heatran there is a really good play because it covers the heavy slam and it covers the protect. And now I assume he's just gonna get the rocks up. Um, if Z Magma Storm kills, then this also would have been a good play. But I think you need rocks up to Oko Gliscor. Now Cory can either earthquake or U-turn here. Uh, I personally would probably click U-turn, but just Earthquake is also a completely fine play because in case the Heatran stays in, he just dies. And if the Bulu comes out, he can just U-turn the next turn, and he has a lot of ways to deal with the Bulu. He has a Steeler, he has a Torn, he has a uh, potential Ice Beam Lari. So but actually, Lari doesn't necessarily beat Spadev Bulu that well. But he was hard into Lele. Um, I don't know what he scouted for. If he predicted SD, there, Cory is a goat, or maybe he predicted Superpower. I'm not exactly sure. And maybe he didn't want to go Torn in case it's Stone Edge. I don't know exactly. So this could be Specs or Z-Move is what I'm thinking. I don't think it's Scarf the way he brought this in on the Bulu. So he does go for Protect there, scouting for a potential Z-Move, but Cory Hard Psyshocks. So now this could still be Z-Move, obviously, and if he goes for it this turn, um, Shadow Psych would Oko the Bulu. If he's um, Specs, I don't think... I don't know if that would Oko. I think Specs might not kill because this Bulu has some sort of Fizz Dev investment to deal with uh, Swampert better. Like that's at least the spread that I used on the team I used in my, in my life and I think he has the same set. So um, unless there's a Z-move, Kid of Death is really free to click Hornleech here. But if he wants to scout for Z-move, I think Tita is also a good play here. Mm, would you go Tita or would you go Tren to scout the Z-move? You, you can't really go Tren, I don't know. I think you would go Tita here to scout for the Z. Because I don't think Cory can afford to predict here. Huh. Like, it seems like a risky play to go hard into Tita, though. Um, so he does hard Z-move. Is he Shadow Psych? He is Shadow Psych, and that kills. Wow. Maybe that's... Is that a roll? Let me call it there real quick. I want to know if that's Modest Lele. Um, Tabu Lele fights. So he goes into Landris, and now he's most likely going to U-turn out here. Uh, Celestia comes out, so U-turn should be the play to get momentum, exactly. And now uh, Medicham? Oh, Heatron comes out, Heatron comes out, yeah. The, uh, Heatron was always the play, what am I saying? Because High Jump Kick was not, he was not in range. So now, um, he's just gonna Magma Storm here. As Lari comes out, he misses a Magma Storm. I'm gonna run the cult later, because I don't wanna miss any turns. So Heatron is threatened out here by a potential Surf. Uh, Cory doubles into Gliscor there, predicting the Tita to come out. Really good play. Um, Tita might have been able to avoid a 2 hit KO from Surf. Not exactly sure if it would have been. Yeah, I probably would have not gotten 2 hit KO'd if he brought it in. Now, um, Gliscor is either going to Earthquake or U-Turn here. U-Turn was a fine play uh, because he could have just pivoted. Like, if the Tita stayed in, which was unlikely, then he could have gone Pex and taken any one hit. And also, he could have scouted for um, the Tita having Ice Punch. The yeah, Elite Sheet comes out. Um, in game one, Cory scouted for knockoff versus the Torn, which uh, I like that play a lot. I didn't talk about it in the video, but I mentioned it in the comments. He went from Celestia into Greninja on a knockoff to. Uh, he went from Celestia into Greninja scouting for a knockoff because he was Z move Greninja. That was a really cool play that I didn't realize at first in game one. But now um, I think Head of Death is just gonna click high, hard high jump kick here. Because, yeah, he gets him, he gets him. Because even if he protects there, Medicham can still live that. And it's like also kind of obvious that he might potentially ice punch predicting the protect. Like that's like a mind game, but 
That's also a play that I made quite a lot, just hard high jump kick when they have protect. Because like both players know he has protect, it's like a huge mind game. I think Corey should have U-turned there um, on the incoming either. Like the Tita can pursue the Tornadoes now, because Bennett Pursuit does kill the Torn. Uh, I'm pretty sure this doesn't have superpower, so Bennett Pursuit is going to kill the Torn, which is annoying for Corey. Uh, if he U-turned there, he would have been in an amazing position. I understand why he hurricaned, because Medicham is a huge threat to Corey's team. And in case Kid tried to stay and he wanted to get rid of the Medicham. But um, yeah, like I, l I agree with switching out the Medicham because the Medicham is such a huge problem for Corey. Um, it can also kill the Tapu Lily. I think he needs maybe a little bit more chip to kill it with Ice Punch or with Zen Headbutt in terrain. But um, the Medicham is jolly, so it's gonna be able to outspeed the uh, Lily no matter what. Uh, Heatran, um, is Heatran needed at this point to win the game? Um, not necessarily. So he goes for Madness Storm. Is Cory gonna either Scald or. Yeah. Yeah, there's no point really to spike, is there? Goes for Scald. So now Elf Power can come out and um, Taunt Spirit in the Recover, I guess. But Scald was really obvious there, so I would have Elf Power. But yeah, I was gonna calc something. I forgot what I was gonna calc. I'm gonna do that after the game. So Medicham just comes out and clicks Zen Headbutt here. Cory has no counterplay because the Celestial is gone. Like, he has nothing to pivot into this. Um, if he goes Mega Ladi, they don't really carry anything to kill Medicham. Like, it's probably gonna be like Ice Beam Surf Ladi. Um, something like that. I don't think it's gonna be HP Fire Ladi because he has Celestia plus Torn to check um, Kartana already. So it could be Recover, Ice Beam Surf, and the last move could either be a coverage move or I don't know exactly. Maybe it could also be Defog. I don't know. But I assume Defog was on the Torn. So, um,. Kid is probably not gonna stay in here. Um, if Cory has a move to kill the Medicham, then he should go for it, hoping the Medicham stays in. But Kid switches out into Landris. And Cory goes for Healing Witch, which is interesting. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure he didn't have a move like Draco to kill the Medi, otherwise, he should have gone for it. So, Healing Witch into Lele didn't really do much because Lele was pretty healthy and only got a little bit health back. Now, um, yeah, Kid can just. I think Kid just U turns here, right? And then he can sack the Titar. And um, U-turn should bring this in range from Zen Headbutt into Rain, I think. Let me call it real quick. Medicham, Mega. Um, Zen Headbutt versus Tapu Lily into Rain, the 73 to 87. So U-turn brings it in range from Zen Headbutt. Um, how much does Ice Punch? Oh, Ice Punch does 61 to 72. So yeah, he sacks the Titar and then Medicham just wins the game for Kid of Death. So now, um, yeah, he doesn't even have to risk missing Zen Headbutt. He goes hard Lando again and U-turns. I guess that works as well. But he could have also just gone Medicham and clicked Ice Punch twice. So Gliscock comes out, explodes there. It doesn't really matter what he clicked there. Was completely didn't matter because Medicham wins the game no matter what. So Big Medi getting thumbnail and I'm gonna run some calcs now that I wanted to show you guys. Because I wanted to figure out if the Lele was modest because it killed the Bulu with the Z move. So Ice Punch just picks up the kill here, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Um, like I said, the Medicham is jolly um, if he didn't change the team, and I'm pretty sure he didn't. So what I was going to calc is this Tabu Bulu spread. Mm. Let me pause it real quick. Damn, that's crazy. Tabu Lily Shattered Psych in Psychic Terrain versus Spadev Bulu. Let's make it Max Spadev here. I have the calculator on my other. You guys can see it. If it's Max Spadev Bulu, which it's not, it's still Okos in Psychic Terrain Z-Move. Lily is busted, good god. I made the Bulu Max Spadev just for... And it's timid too. Like, how does that Oko? That's insane. Oh, never mind. I miscalled. I, I didn't make it max HP. My bad. Okay, so... Shattered Psych does 93 to 109. My bad for the miscalc. I put, didn't put HP in the Bulu. 93 to 109. How much HP was the Bulu at? Let me rewatch. Yeah, the Bulu was at 94%. And it's not max spadev. I can't max spadev just to see how much it does. But it was only like... Like it had 16 in speed and it also had 76 or something in defense. So it had less spadev. So the Shattered Psych guaranteed killed. It did like 98 min, 116 max. Something along those lines. Um, there was something else I wanted to cult but I forgot what it was. Yeah, I really don't remember. <laughs> yeah, X-Ray is saying here... Um, he choked if he was Draco Ladi and Cory says he wasn't. He was Bolt Beam Ladi, so he was T Bolt, Ice Beam, Healing Wish, and Roost, most likely, is what I'm thinking at this point. Yeah. I mean, he just said his set. He just said his set. He probably still lost to Lando Sec and Pursuit. But yeah, we're gonna get a game three. Also, um, I'm gonna show you guys the other matchups, and you can let me know in the comments which is your 
Favorite match, which ge game are you most hyped for? So we got the other games here. Um, like four? How many people I know qualified? I know one... I know Lopani a bit, I don't know him that much. One, two, three... Four, five, six people I know qualified. Well, I know some of these people like a little bit and some of them a bit better. But yeah. So a uh, highlight match for me. IBM Mimolet is gonna be really fun because Mimolet is a creative builder. And yeah, that's, that's gonna be super fun to watch. Um, yeah, I'm obviously rooting for my insult in this one. And I think Solvent lost low punny kicks is gonna be really cool to watch as well. As long as Solvent doesn't bring stall too much, then it could be boring. I, I don't think he should bring stall versus punny though. Because he might get crushed if he does that. <laughs> And yeah, what else do we have here? Um, actually, I should end it, yeah, because game three is gonna start for ulti. What am I doing? Um, thank you guys for watching. I gotta go record game three and peace out, guys. Smash that like button if you wanna see more.